Hey guys, Willie here. Check out this bad boy. This is the one-to-one -one scale prop replica sideshow tracker predator mask. It's big and I really like it. I like big toys and this is by all means a big toy. This is the box. Limited to uh, 750 pieces I believe in the run. Um, I bought this about six weeks ago. Been waiting a little while to get it, got it today. Couldn't wait to unbox it to show you. I really wanted the Berserker mask, which is the predator with the uh, the bone jaw around its mask, but um, it was either sold out or had become extremely expensive. Obviously it was more sought after. But I like the tracker, especially after getting my Hot, hot Toys figure. Um, so yeah, I opted with this guy. I've always wanted a, a full scale replica mask from these guys. Um, and they don't disappoint at all. I'm really impressed with it. I've been looking at it all night. It's, it's great. Um, as I said, it's really big. Uh, so you can see a comparison next to me. It's much bigger than my head. Quite heavy as well. Plenty of weight in it. Um, it feels solid. I certainly wouldn't want to drop it. But in saying that, uh, I'm not too terrified about breaking it like some of my other collectibles. I think it's going to be pretty sturdy. Uh, and stand up the test of time that most of our collectibles have to. Um, first off, uh, talk about the, the paint job, I guess. Um, really happy with it. I've seen a lot of reviews on some of the older Sideshow prop replica masks and a lot of complaints regarding the paint job, um, that it was quite boring. I think this one's okay, you know. it's uh, It's got a bit of weathering on the edges. Um, I like this... Hang on a moment. I really like this, this battle damage look going on around the eye here. Um, and the tusks, of course, add the character to the piece. That's, that's what identifies this, this predator as the tracker predator. Um, these are permanently fixed. They're not separate. I, uh, I had a bit of a thought before I got it that perhaps these were going to come separate. And that worried me a little bit. It seemed a bit cheap. It seemed a bit weak for it not to be permanently attached. Um, and it seemed like one of those uh, one of those things where if they weren't fixed they would probably get loose very quickly um, and more than likely fall and break um, obviously love the light up feature on the, uh, the site or whatever you want to refer to that as um, one gripe I have with the lights is that when they shine through one of the lights is actually blocked by the tusk so if you shine it towards a wall, looking for that uh, tri-dot sort of thing they have going on, uh, you're not going to get it. You're going to get the other two, bottom one, always blocked off by this. So that's a little bit disappointing, but um, in saying that, I guess you don't buy this just to shine the light at the wall. Uh, so lenses are see-through. Um, they're terribly hard to look through though, distort vision terribly. So I wouldn't go saying that this is a wearable prop replica. Um, it's certainly more of a, a display piece. If I turn it over, uh, the inside's fairly plain. Battery compartment takes two AAA batteries. And this hexagonal piece here is actually a magnet, which fixes it to its display stand, which you can see here. Let's put that down. Oh. So that's the display stand that comes with it. Um, supposedly shaped like one of the shoulder cannons, Predator shoulder cannons. Comes with two mounting options. Um, the standard, which would mount there, once again magnetic. Um, that's for sitting it on a, on a shelf or, you know, some display setup. Uh, the other option is there's another hexagonal hole here. And that's for wall mounting. If you turn it around, you'll see there's a couple of holes here to uh, prop it up on screws. God, it picks up so much hair. Um, marked there, 479 out of 750 made. Um, so it's got got some limited edition, uh, I don't even know what to refer to it as, limited edition love, I guess. Anyway, quite heavy too, the base, um, which is good. It, it's not flimsy. You don't feel like it's gonna fall over easily. When this thing's in place, it's not going anywhere. Um, I think you'd give it quite a solid bump and you wouldn't have to worry about it. Does concern me about wall mounting though, because there is so much weight. This would be a horrible thing to have fall off a wall. Um, and I spoke before about the strength in the tusks. 
I think if this did hit the ground quite hard, you would be looking at some serious damage. So you'd want to know what you're doing if you're going to wall mount it. I certainly won't be doing it anytime soon, um, although it is a, a great option and it would look fantastic on a wall. It's just a bit risky for me, so I'm not going to do it. It is quite large, um, and the hardest part with displaying it is that it's actually quite deep. Um, a lot of collectibles like hot toys you know they might be they might be 12 inches tall um, but depth they're nothing you can put them in a cabinet that's only that deep this thing is far too deep to display on a regular bookshelf or a regular wall shelf um, unless you want to put it sideways and even then you're probably not going to fit the whole base on the shelf it's it's big Collectability, definitely a worthwhile collectible if you're into the Predator series. Um, it's one of my first full-scale prop replicas of any kind. I've got some Force Effects lightsabers. I've, that's probably about it, actually. So, you know, it's, it's one of my first full-size scale replicas. And, um, yeah, it's, it's probably a bad thing that I got this because it makes me want more large, ridiculously hard to display collectibles. And there simply is no room for them. So I'm probably going to get in trouble when I start buying more of these. Uh, it's a good thing that most of the decent ones have sold out from primary sellers uh, and that they've all gone on to secondary sellers or eBay, making it more expensive and more difficult to buy things that I just don't need. Um, Really, its functionality is to be a display piece, a collectible. Um, it's almost like a mantelpiece sort of sort of collectible, isn't it? It's it's like having a, a lion's head on your wall, except you didn't kill it. Although you can lie and tell people you did if you want, they probably won't believe you. If you like this video? Um, let me know. Write me a comment in the comment comment section. Um, subscribe if you want to see more. Um, and any of you 1-6 to six scale collectors out there who do custom work, I'm looking for a US Postal Service costume. See what you can find, alright? Let me know. Take it easy. Those big glass cabinets behind me, you know, they look great, they light up, they really help to display my collectibles. But ultimately they serve one purpose, and that is to keep the cat away from toys and collectibles. This hasn't even been anywhere low enough for the cat to go, and there are still a couple of cat hairs attached to it. So it just proves that cat hair goes everywhere.